Well, we have breaking news in NASCAR again. Within the last week or so, it's been announced that Steve Letarte's final season as Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s crew chief at Hendrick Motorsports will be 2014. He will be moving to the NBC broadcast team for the 2015 season. Now, this brings to mind what I call crew chief burnout. It just seems a lot of crew chiefs have got out of the business, moved to TV, and, and Steve Letarte got out, he is, I just looked it up on Wikipedia, if you can believe that, he is 34 years old, will be 35 when he goes into TV, and he's been a crew chief for less than 10 years, so I don't know what the NASCAR, the teams can do to prevent this, but he's not the only one. Let's look at a few more. Jeff Hammond and Larry McReynolds have moved into the Fox TV booth or the Fox TV broadcast team. Um, Ray Everham, who was also an owner, I understand that, has worked for ESPN for the last few years. I'm guessing will continue to do so in the ESPN coverage. Andy Petrie, again, was also an owner, but now has moved into the ESPN broadcast. Gary Nelson, who was a crew chief at times, went to work for NASCAR, did some TV at times. Now, I don't believe he's in the sport anymore, except possibly he may be consulting. I do not know. I did not look Gary Nelson up. But this, there's something going on with crew chief burnout, because I, especially with looking at Steve Letarte being so young and he had some, he was formerly Jeff Gordon's crew chief and had, I just looked it up, one six win season with Gordon. And I'm a junior fan, I will say that. Did a pretty good job with junior. They only won one race together so far, the Michigan in 2012 when they dominated in the tire fiasco up on the repaved track. But um, I don't understand it. Now, I wonder. If Latart will be allowed by NBC to possibly consult for Hendrick or other teams during the Fox portion of the broadcast coverage. I know at times that Larry McReynolds and Jeff Hammond may have been doing some consulting early in the days of the Fox broadcast history, but I do not know if they're doing it anymore. But what is going on with crew chief burnout? It just Seems like so many of them, and there's more. Barry Dobson was a crew chief. He got out of it. And there's more I'm not mentioning. That young enough to still be actively involved in the sport. And yeah, and as a junior fan, you know, you talk about armchair quarterbacks. Well, I've been an armchair crew chief at times. I sit here most weeks, NASCAR's on, the Sprint Cup races are on. And I have that track pass race view where I can listen to Junior's radio. And, yeah, I don't always agree with Latard on pit strategy and so forth. Sometimes I think with the wave around rule, I think they ought to short pit or something like that. But Or, you know, may not agree with two or four, but that's every sport. Basketball, I mean, I'm I, a U of L fan. I got a vlog up, but I blatantly accused Rick Pitino of losing the Notre Dame game last year. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, we all armchair, crew chief, quarterback, coach basketball, whatever sport we watch, but Steve Letarte's been good for Junior. I will say that, but I hate to see him go. I'm hoping they let him possibly during the first part of the season when Fox is broadcasting consult with the new crew chief. But the only time will tell on that. I have not read the whole stories on it, but just been kind of my take on what I call a burnout of crew chiefs.